Deputy Minister for Finance, Abnon Sayasari, led officials from the Ghana Revenue Authority, GNPC and other agencies, the Public Accounts Committee, to answer questions relating to the 2020 Auditor General's report. The session, however, seemingly turned confrontational over the implementation of the controversial e-levy. The chairman of the committee, James Kluchavage, engaged in verbal exchanges with the deputy minister. Yes, sir. If I transfer 120 Ghana cities, the 1.75 percent, which amount will you charge it? We will charge it on the 20 Ghana cities, uh, Mr. Chairman. That is what I want to know. Thank you. So if I transfer, take note of that answer. If I transfer 120, I'll be charged on only the 20 cities. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Ghanaians are listening and they are watching. Yes, Mr. Chairman. If I transfer 1,000 Ghana cities, yes. how much will I be charged on? Mr. Chairman, 900 Ghana cities, because the first 100 Ghana cities and below is tax exempt. If I transfer no, another 1,000 Ghana cities hey, to, another, to another person, <laughs> how much will I be charged on? No, we need the thing to be made clear to Ghanaians. Mr. Chairman, I transfer another 1,000 Ghana the same day. How much will I be charged You on? do 1,000 Ghana. First one. First one. I'm charged and you on are 900. Charged on the 900. I do another 1,000. You do another 1,000 Ghana cities. You'll be charged on the 1,000 Ghana cities. But I'm doing that one to another person. Yes, you'll be charged 1,000 Ghana cities. So the first, yes. oh, honorable members, the first 1,000 Ghana that I transferred, I charge, I'm charged on 100, uh, 900. If the person I transfer the money to decide to transfer that uh, 1,000 he received, he decide to transfer 900 to another person, how much will you charge that person? If the person who received the 1,000 decides to transfer... Decide to transfer 900 to another person. If in a day the person hasn't done any transaction, the person will be charged on 800 Ghana cities. 800? Yeah. Then the, the third person received 900. He also decided to transfer 800 to another person. He'll be charged on 700. Mr. Chairman. So that my thousand, we are charging all this money on it. Mr. Just in one day. Mr. Chairman, what we are saying is this. If you transact um, you do transactions electronically. That is when you are charged the 1.75. The Deputy Minister for Finance later briefed the media on the progress of consultations among stakeholders on the levy that had been the subject of dispute. We will bring the bill in and hopefully all things being equal, it will be laid in Parliament and then all of us will see the terms, everything stated clearly in the electronic transaction level. Our consultation is done, our consultation is done because the minister, you're including yourself. The minister I mentioned yeah. that, yes, um, you can never finish consultations. So I cannot sit here, stand here and say that consult consultations are done. We have made very good progress in the consultation process and I believe that that will reflect in the bill that we present to the House. In the business statement, mm. We, it was quoted that Parliament will rise on Friday. Right. So whatever it takes for us to bring the bill to Parliament before Parliament rises, for it to be brought to Parliament, the Finance Committee looks at it, and for it to come back to the floor of Parliament, we will have to do it. We will continue to build that consensus that we are all looking for, because at the end of the day, we have no other country than Ghana, whether minority or majority. It is this country that we live in. It is this country that we have to work together to develop and make it work. On the floor of the House, Dominic Nitti will confirm to Parliament that there were ongoing consultations and processes for the purchase of a new executive jet for the country. The current president, if we were to purchase this jet, will not use it. That's the first thing I want you to know. Secondly, I also want you to know that I said consultations are ongoing, including consultations with members of Parliament. When those consultations are completed, I will come back to this House to let you know whether those consultations have, uh, have arrived as a positive answer or a negative answer. Don't conclude for me. I am the one who is taking those decisions in consultation with government. If you are reading somebody else's statement who didn't make it in this house, that is your own headache. But as far as I am concerned, I, the Minister for Defence, I am saying the consultations are ongoing. And when those consultations are positive, I will come to this house with the agreements. If they are not positive, I will not come. It's as simple as that. 
The committees of the House are in the process of considering the 2022 budget estimates. The Communications Committee, however, suspended hearings on Tuesday in protest of the Ministry of Communications' decision not to present annual reports for the National Communications Authority for a number of years. The Speaker's Committee is, is, is poised to carry out our oversight responsibility without fear or favour and that we would insist that the right things according to the law are done. And so if the minister is able to provide this committee and finish us with the three, at least the first three reports, we would, we would resume consideration of her estimates. Until such a time, we cannot continue to approve estimates for a ministry and its agencies when for six years running, they have failed to account to the people of Ghana, whose taxes we have been approving. We cannot continue approving in abeyance. If this was your business or your own company, you would demand some accountability. And we do this without any malice, but be mindful of our responsibilities to the people of Ghana. At the Special Budget Committee, officials of the Electoral Commission were denied audience following the absence of the chairperson of the commission at the hearings. Here is a member of the committee and Deputy Minority Chief Whip Ahmed Ibrahim. Until she herself come we are not going to listen to the deputy. Even though we knew they are competent, Dr. Bosman, Freeman, listen, uh, well, the other, the person, Bosman, Dodo and Co., they had the capacity to be able to explain matters. But there are some policy issues that you need to hear from the chairperson herself. Your people are lambasting parliament about their non-concern that parliament is showing about the people in OT region that uh, is an Apafo, Lolobi, and Lipi, who have no representation in parliament, even though government has gone ahead to give them a district. So there's a district in Ghana here without a constituency. And parliament, which is the highest representation body in the country, is not seen, it has been silent on it. So we wish when she herself appear, her plans towards giving the people of SAR a representation. She will see it. The various committees of the House continue with their um, scrutiny of the budget estimates have been presented to them uh, by various ministries, departments and agencies. On the floor of the House, ministers have been taking turns to answer questions uh, in relation to their sectors as posed by members of Parliament. Reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Duke Ben Sokoko.